What's up my 3D printing people? So I've got five really cool ideas or categories of things that I've created on my 3D printer, given I've only been doing this for about three to four weeks, but I've really, really dug into this. I, I, I like it so much, but here are some really cool ideas, things that are gonna help you out, and things, things that are just fun and cool to do. So the first thing I'm gonna say are these fidget spinners, right? I've got so many requests for people asking for these things, just for me putting them out and playing with them, making them for my kids. Okay, this is a planetary gear one. I don't know if you can see it from there. I'll try to punch in, but these gears actually work. Really neat. This was a print in place idea too. None of this I had to assemble. I ripped it right off that build plate, boom. Got smaller one too, fit on your fingers. The only people who don't like these so far, my wife, because all she hears all day long for me, my kids, is that. All right, I get it, I'll give her that. Cool, so that's number one. Number two is going to be movie props. I'm a big nerd, you know, I like Marvel, I like Star Wars, I like Star Trek, I, I like all the sci-fi stuff, fantasy stuff, cool, whatever. Boom, I have Agamotto, right? Pretty cool, right? I got, I printed it out in this, uh, the, the silk filament. It's supposed to be gold and black, kind of looks blue to me, but I still think that's really cool. Cool, I got the eye of Agamotto, right? All right, what else do I have? President Loki's horns, helm, whatever you want to call it. Turned out really cool, fits on my dog, fits on my wife, doesn't fit on my big head, but you know, that's besides the point. It's going on the wall anyway, it's not going on my head. Uh, what other movie props do I have? This one, this one was really cool. This one is the new Doctor Doom mask from the upcoming movies. This was printed in place again. I had to redo the top because bad adhesion issues. We all have them, right? This was printed with the Sun Lu Silk Silver PLA, right? This thing is smooth, nice, like there's only a little bit of a, a ringing or whatever you want to call it right there. And that's that's just due to it being sitting on the bill plate like this and that was the top. I didn't do any ironing or anything like that. And I've found that this silk PLA is a little bit harder to work with as far as that goes, like sanding it down and stuff. I haven't had much luck. I'm gonna leave it there because yeah, whatever, it's mine and I can do what I want. Another one, a lightsaber, of course. Every big nerd that's got a 3D printer is going to make a lightsaber, right? I have one going right now on the printer. That one is Leia's. That one is actually cool. Hold on. So with that one, it's actually copper. So I'm using the copper silk PLA. This stuff, this stuff looks really cool. That, yeah, Get that going on. Anyhow, this copper PLA looks really, really awesome. Um, I'm excited to put this together. So this was done at my wife's request. So I printed out Ray's lightsaber and I printed out Leia's lightsaber. Actually, I'm working on the rest of Leia's. Ray's is printed out. She's just got to put it together. Now, this is Anakin's, okay, from the, from the original trilogy, all right? This is gonna go with something else I'm gonna show you guys later, but we'll put that off to the side for now. So, that was number two, right? Movie props. Fun stuff to put around the house. The third thing that I'm gonna show you guys is kind of functional stuff, right? So, if you're into the 3D printing world, you've heard of this, right? This is Gridfinity. Okay, so you print out these grids, for those of you that don't know, you stick them in your drawers, and then you can print out all kinds of things that, that lock into here. So you see these little squares? So I printed out some of these little containers. I got these little squares, they fit into the container, stick in your drawer, they don't slide around. Cool, right? So it helps you keep, it helps you stay organized. So what I did with these containers anyway, there's a colored ring around the top of each of them. So I got blue ones and I printed out orange ones. So one of them is gonna be for my camera gear. The other one is gonna be for some of my 3D printing gear. What I did to customize it is I actually embossed my logo inside of the box there. So you see it there, see it again, I got it there. And you can also print out all kinds of other sizes. Actually, I think this one's upside down. But anyway, you can print out other sizes, smaller, bigger, whatever size grid you want. Fill up your drawer with these things. That's my plan. And I've, I've already done it, I'll throw in throw in some B-roll future self, go over to the toolbox and show them what it looks like. But anyway, you know, this is what it's gonna look like in the drawer and you can customize it and make it any other way. So that's, 
That's number three, okay? Functional things. Another one that I'm gonna add to this is you see all my spools in the back there? All those spool holders that I printed out for that Ikea Sudakis, I'm not Swedish, so I can't say the name right. The Ikea pegboard back there, all those spool holders are all 3D printed and printed up. So all this, all that up there. The AMS system, the uh, the mount for that that's on there, on the uh, Ikea pegboard, I printed out. Over here, you probably can't see it because it's too shallow. Anyway, I've got a bunch of tools on this one. All those tool holders are printed out from my 3D printer. So number three, functional items. And those are gonna really help a lot if you're trying to turn this into a business or something like that. Try to figure out what other people are needing and, and fix other people's problems. So I also printed out a, I've got uh, DeWalt power tools. I got a, a battery holder, goes on a wall, holds three batteries. Just click, click, click. I gave that to my dad. I'm gonna print out more because I have them, he's got them. Everybody on the compound's got them. Okay, number four is gonna be Briz. Number four is going to be business branded stuff. You already saw on here that I've got my logo in embossed in this one. So anything that I'm gonna print out and sell or put out into the world, I'm gonna to try to put my logo in. So I've printed out you know, my logo a couple of times. I've got it on the wall back here behind the plant. Yeah, that was kinda, kinda dumb. So I got my logo on the wall back here so it can be behind my videos when my big self is not right in front of the way. I tried to print out business cards, okay? Got my business cards here and they're a little thin. I'm gonna to have to work on them and I didn't get the, the, the colors right. Cool thing about these is they take an NFC chip. So what I can do is grab my phone or walk up to somebody's phone, they ask for a business card, just tap it. It's gonna bring on my website. So these, this, this guy I'm still working on, but these keychains, this also, this also has an NFC chip and it's got the NFC logo on the back so people know what it is. Cool thing about it, right? Let me open up my phone and show you how it works. So somebody, some, I'm talking to a client, somebody in the field sees me with a camera. Hey, I need somebody for photography, video, whatever, yada, yada, yada. Well, here's my business card. Let me go ahead and just touch that to the back of my, all right, my phone had a moment. So like I was saying, take the card, hold it up to the back of your phone. It's gonna recognize, open up, and it's gonna take you right to your landing page. Now I've got a bio site where it's got all of my socials, my, um, my website, all that stuff. So. Anybody can get a hold of me however they want. Again, number four, it's really gonna help you for your business is anything with business branding on it. Now, if you can if you can add your logo to it, I, I would go ahead and do that if you have a logo. All right, number five is going to be hands down my favorite thing so far that I've printed out. This goes along with me being a photographer as well. So I like shooting video, don't get me wrong, but my passion really is stills. I, I'm I'm, Leaning more into the video stuff. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So these are called Hue Forges. I printed this out from my 3D printer. This was not my design. I, I will not take credit. I'll give credit down below. And any any of the stuff that I have or any of my affili affiliate links, affiliate links will be down below in the description. So go ahead, click them. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, sub, all that stuff. Anyway, so I saw these. This guy has created a whole bunch of the lightsabers. My thought was to take, remember the one from earlier, is I'm gonna mount this on the wall and I'm gonna mount this next to it. So somehow I'm going to display these two together. I'm not quite sure how yet, I'm not quite sure where, but just, you know, these things, these, these things look so cool. Now, I also did one of these shoe forges for a photo that I took. I'll splice in a little bit of B-roll. I gave it to the, um, person's mom, but uh, I think it turned out really cool. It was my first time designing one of my own. Thought it was really cool. So anyway, these are the five ideas that I had that maybe you could create on your own if you're in kind of a uh, slump of, hey man, what, what, can I, what can I print out? I don't even know. Well, here are some ideas for you. Go out, just, just experiment, have fun. That's what I'm doing. Uh, I am no, I am by no means any kind of professional 3D printer. And I'm making some stuff that's like kind of blowing, blowing me away, blowing myself away. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
go out, do some 3D printing, do some content creation, do, do what makes you happy.